I was going to record a different game, but uh, there isn't that much time uh, left before my parents come back. And uh, me being self-conscious as of this, I won't be able to record it <coughs> while they're here. Mm. I don't think I'll be able to play it today then. But that's okay, I still want to play the game eventually. Um, and then I realized that my videos have been too loud recently. I mean, every game is different, and that's why it's really hard to know exactly um, where I should be putting the volume at. But I think this is a good volume. Right there. Because uh, when it's in like the middle, that's a good volume too. Um, but yeah. Anyway, <laughs> since it's Seshi Kun's birthday today, happy birthday, Cecile. Happy birthday, Cecile Kun. Mm -hmm. So. Um, before his birthday too, and mm, now that I'm seeing it too, I'm like, yeah, I have to scout. Because <laughs> uh, I missed out on scouting for the Halloween banner anyway. Uh, I was going to scout for it yesterday, or today, but the, the banner ended up expiring before I was able to. Because I wanted to scout it as close as I could to Halloween, and I just spent, um... Well, I did end up finishing recording the Halloween video, but uh, a spooky night, a spooky night at the soiree or something like that, but a super cute game by Nami. But uh, the problem was that I got really, really tired um, about 10, 20 minutes after that because I was trying to free up space so I could record uh, the game I wanted to record, the other Halloween video I wanted to do, but that's okay. Um, Eventually, mm, the Halloween cards will come back. Hopefully not too late compared to uh, last year's Halloween cards, Renkun and Kamusan. But, um... Yeah, hopefully not because I really want Tokyo because... Uh, but it's okay. Um, and the super rares too, like... Uh, it was hard like having to decide, be t like splitting between them. Because uh, I know I wasn't going to scout for Natsuki-kun, but... The super rares in that folder, like Shoko was there too. I was like, ah. Anyway, though, this is Silken's day. Uh, even if I never scout for these selected banners, they're so pretty. I love how they each have different sound effects. I mean, either way, I have Tokyo Kun, and then I have. Denkin. Well, it's a 50% chance to get their photos, so I guess that's different. Um, actually, I'm curious. Like, do they have... what? Oh, no, it's just the same ultra rares. Okay, because I was wondering if they... if it was just... like, ultra rares for, like, the selected guy, but all of their ultras. <laughs> that would be a tempting scout. Let's see, and then I have a bunch of points saved though, so I'll do the points first. Uh, from all the, the Halloween candies. That's where I got all these points from. Please don't give me another duplicate. <laughs> I'd rather just not. <laughs> it was, it was, um, um, that happened recently. I won't spoil it, but it happened recently, so, uh, uh <laughs> I mean, <laughs> recently can be any time, because I get duplicate ultras all the time, apparently. <laughs> My life. Okay. <laughs> It'd be really cool to get a Halloween uh, super rare, but who? Because for the uh, the Halloween super rare cards, not this year's of course, but the the previous year, maybe the previous. I think it's the previous. No, it's not even the previous year. The year before that, um, with Ramaru Kun and Reiji San, um, I have over the ultras too. Two ultra rare Ramaru Kuns. <laughs> Again, my curse of duplicates is uh, <laughs> it's never ending. <laughs> I don't even know when it started, but uh, <laughs> it's apparently all the time. Um, anyway, for that series, um, I have Shokun, Aikun, Tokyo-kun, Otoyo-kun, uh, Sesio-kun, Kamasan, uh, Reiji-kun, Ramaru-kun, um, and then, let's see, who am I leaving out? 
I have Rankin too. I have Mastokun too. Then I feel like I listed all of them off. One, two, three, four. Ooh, one, two. Oh, Natsuki kun. Um, I don't have Natsuki kun. I think. Maybe I do. I feel like I have some kind of like Halloween theme, themeish card, but I don't think it's that Natsuki kun. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, well here's this scout. I hope I get a Halloween card. And like always, uh, I'm always closing my eyes for these, cause uh, I can be surprised when it happens. Either way, I mean it doesn't matter. Cause they could just like pop, go from a super rare or two like an ultra. <laughs> okay, but. Ah, that's why I had to open my eyes now. <laughs> uh, um, but I just remember though with Utapri, I feel like, well, not only do I not talk loud enough, either I don't talk loud enough or the audio of the game is too quiet. I forgot which one, because that's what happened with the Setsgetska cards. So I don't know, I'm making sure to talk into my phone's mic though, so. Ah, Valentine's Day again. I don't know if I have the Sotiakin. I have a few of the Valentine's cards, but I'm not sure. For some reason, I'm always like not playing mobile games. Right around Valentine's Day. I always miss out on Valentine's Day events for all the games, like Love Life. Um, we could free last year too. Um, and... Well, Bang Dream too. Um, I always miss oh ensemble starts too, but I always miss out on Valentine's, and I always end up like mm, not showing up for my birthday either, which is uh, around Valentine's. It's like double the date of Valentine's, I think. If Valentine's is that, well, I'm not sure. Anyway, um, they're both during the month of February, but since there's no like no girls have their birthday um, during February for Love Live. So that was always a problem, because Low Level was the only game I played for the longest time. At least with that much dedication. I did play other games, like Divine Gate and otherwise, but uh, Love Live was the only one I really put in that much effort for. And because there wasn't anything happening in February, I just uh, I just missed out on February and I came back during March. <laughs> for um, Umi-chan's birthday or Maki-chan's birthday? And Space... Eh, it's Umi-chan's birthday. Maki-chan's birthday is April. I think. Oh, that's gonna bug me, so I have to look it up now. Maki. Nishikino. Nishikino Maki. It's great how the second most search Google search is uh, her birthday. April 19th. Yep, I was right. Yeah, because I don't know why, but for some reason I was just like, no, nah, it's not her birthday. <laughs> or I was thinking May for some reason. That's not it. Anyway. Yeah, so I always end up missing out on, um, on Valentine's. So it's a shame. Valentine's and my birthday, because I didn't know for Ensemble Stars. Uh, like for all the guys. Aww, the Reiji sound looks so, so sweet. So hopeful. Oh, that's cute. I don't have the icon. It's the school life melody, isn't it? It's one single cookie. <laughs> of all the hopes and dreams of school idols. Ah, uh, that's a great way to cap it off. I could. Yeah, they're both new. Yeah, because I know I have Kamusan and I have Renkun too. I have Shokun too. I got that one recently. And then, yeah. But I don't have that many of the School Life Melody cards, so this is great. I'm getting more of them. Uh, what was I saying? Um, yeah, with Ensemble Stars, they end up doing something for um, the player's birthday, which I think is really cool. The producer's birthday. And uh, Utapri does too. I think I showed them. On my birthday for the pre, I think. Cause they're like, yeah, yeah. They say like, happy birthday, which is so sweet. I wish Love Live did that too. <laughs> That's why I'm like, uh. <laughs> That's why I put in more effort for the pre. I think because um, they do more things like that. Um, even though with Love Live they end up doing pretty much anything else for any other holiday, uh, even like Tanabata, like just one day or Marine Day, which is really cool. And listening to those messages is always um, a delight too. But I do wish it was animated. I think 
uh, having 3D animation really brings like the characters to life more. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I end up always like missing out, but uh, I should. Well, I think this year will be different. I hope so. That will be my New Year's resolution probably too. Well, I do end up sticking through games more. It's just, uh, yeah, with Love Live I ended up playing more, but the problem is just um, keeping it up with other games too. Especially all the games I play now <laughs> that I started last year. For, yeah, I started Ensemble Stars last year. And then Bang Dream was like around the same time. It was last year, wasn't it? I think it was last year. Or, yeah, it should be last year. Wow, I can't believe it's only been a year for those games. Compared to like Love Life. <laughs> but even with Love Life, I've only started earnestly playing it for a few years now. Compared to when I first started. Which was around the time when the game was first released too, so. Mm -hmm. I've been a long time player, technically. But been a more devout player. Devoted player. Um... In recent years. Anyway, here's another scout. Now I just want more of the school life melody cards. Or like a Halloween card. But I don't think they've uh, put in the, the Halloween cards yet. Uh, yeah, this year's Halloween cards. Or even last year? No, they have, I think. Yeah. Yep, it says she's good for a day, so... Yeah, that's a Halloween card, isn't it? Okay, that's a good way to cap it off. I was like... Ooh, is anything gonna show up? Yep. Okay. Thank you, it says she can. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> True. When I first started Utapri, um, this mobile game, I was trying so hard to... <laughs> Uh, get like start off with an ultra rare because like most people do, and either way, that's um how I want to start with the pre too. Thankfully, I didn't have to try that hard, and this account has been extremely lucky like beyond lucky, so uh, I didn't have to end up trying that hard, I guess. But I would have never, kn I could never know that. No one could ever know that, no one can predict the future like that. Uh, anyway, though. Uh, I do remember when I was first trying, like, rolling accounts. I I didn't ro roll that much either. I think I rolled, like, like a handful of times. And that was it, like, even on one hand. Um, but one of them I do remember... Uh, no, it was more than a handful. It was, yeah, it was at least two hands. But, uh, one of the counts I rolled for, I ended up getting a Cecile Alter. <laughs> it was, uh, the, the, uh, the beach one? It's not marine, it's like... Which one is it? Let's see. Because uh, I don't know the names of the cards as well um, compared to Love Life. Let's see, Cecile. Ultra Rare cards. Cecile Aijima. Aijima san. <laughs> he keeps singing to be the real king. Okay, let's see. The Ultra Rare. Mm, let's see. This one. The Beach Summer Live. Summer Beach Show. It's like all of those cards. Mm -hmm. I didn't know the name of it, but I didn't know exactly what it looked like. But that's the card I got, and I was just like... Uh, I wasn't that appreciative of Cecile come back then. I still uh, like this character. Um, like I end up telling one of my friends, um, I love all the boys, but it's like not as much as others. In that sense. But Cecile Kun's really growing on me. It's like all the boys say, like, he's really lovable and endearing. And, um, I really want to know more about his personality, uh, now that I've listened to all the birthday messages. Like, uh, what they can saying, like, how they think very differently, but, um, that's what friends, uh, are for or can do. Which is interesting, because I'm wondering how they think differently. And then, um, let's see, uh, 
Master Kun always saying that he's he makes new discoveries based on Cecil Kun's thoughts or ideas, which is so cool. And then uh, Tokyo Kun saying how Cecil Kun's really inspiring and um, uh, his steadfast determination inspires Tokyo Kun to um, be like that too. And just the way he says it is like so sweet. It's like he really means it from the heart, but it's also like he really. Um, Cherishes Cecil Kun's character. Uh, and then, let's see. Ramaru Kun says something interesting too. I forgot what, exactly what he says. Oh, shoot, I can't even check the messages anymore. Oh, that's disappointing. Oh, but. Yeah. And then the thing about Utapri is like, since they do all the birthday messages like the day before their birthday, just like how Love Life starts the day before for the, the campaigns, the scouting campaigns. Um, the, that's the problem though, and then I can't see like the birthday messages. Hey. Record the birthday. I, I guess that's why people end up recording. Um, they end up recording the, the scouting videos. Um, they end up recording the scouting videos before uh, their birthdays. Which I don't personally like because I'd rather scout on their birthday. Because I, that's what I end up doing for Love Live anyway. But then that's why I end up missing out on seeing like the birthday messages. Because then I have to click through and then go through each of the guys or each of the girls for Love Live. And that. That's such a drag. <laughs> I'd rather just like be able to go through all of them at once. Well, it's okay, Cecil. Okay, we're gonna scout them. I did take a screenshot though, so mm, I'll pause the video so I can like bring it up though. Yeah, like here's some of their birthday messages, like uh, Otoyokuns. Our ideas clash sometimes, but that's part of being friends. Mm -hmm. I agree, Otoyakun. That's how I see it. Cause like friendships should be enriching, and like people should be improving as their friends. Like shouldn't be stuck in the same, oh the same ideas, the same thoughts, just being in a rut pretty much, and not improving as a person. That's how I think too, Otoyakun. Yeah, your many questions. That's why, cause Cecilia is very curious, and I really like that about him. Yeah, your earnestness is overwhelming. Mm -hmm. And then Ramarukun, you're kind of dramatic. See, that's the thing. Um, but you see things as they are. <laughs> that's kind of like how I am too. But uh, that's why, like, I Silken's growing even more on me because that's why I feel of Icon. That uh, out of all the guys, he's the most relatable in terms of being mysterious in a sense, but being very being very blunt and honest and also not being afraid to speak uh, his mind at least at least for me when it's by myself but also uh, I can specialty being singing <laughs> and is like uh, also loving music above all else which I agree with and then always having technology with him like his phone his laptop um, and I don't know just like his demeanor, I guess. Like even the, in the sense that he's a, a little bit of a cynic, I think. And I can relate to that. Anyway, I, I can talk about that some other time. But um, now we're going back to Cecile Kun. Yeah. Because now it's time to scout for his birthday. <laughs> I'm, I'm already really happy because uh, he came home in the sense of the super rare for uh, last year's Halloween cards. But even last year's, that's so cool! Because he's the first one I have! I think. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure though, maybe I have one other, but I never zoomed in on it, so I wasn't exactly sure. But look! So see, look, it's so cute! If I had more prisms, I would scout <laughs> Until the temp. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, this just reminds me of uh, what happened with Ramarukun. Oh gosh, that was... That... That was... That's crazy. I still need to upload that video too, but I'll definitely do that mm, when I can. Gosh, I get so behind on things. If one of the guys ever said that, that would be me. That would literally be me. 
Okay. I was charging Cecile good. <laughs> They're all gonna be Cecile Kung cards now, aren't they? I don't have that Cecile can I think. Wow, that was a... Yeah, I don't. But that was a... That was a pretty bad scout. <laughs> Considering that usually my scouts end up going um, really well. Oh, they didn't update. Oh, because it's 12 p.m. now. Yep, yep. But the thing is though... Well, that was incredibly disappointing. Oh, I didn't get that many new Cecile can cards. So, uh... Yeah, login bonus. Uh, I think I'll just scout because I didn't end up scouting for the Halloween cards like I mentioned. So... I should scout here. Yeah, and then this one too. I got uh, a super rare plus scouting ticket. This is... right? I think. <laughs> anyway. Oh, and I got one too from the Memorial Bengal. Yeah. I'll probably do that first, because um, as much as I love to choose the Steel Kun, these cards, these tickets are already rare enough as it is. Let's see. I did get one super ra rare plus, though, so I will scout for that. I hope it's the Steel Kun. <laughs> Wow, would you look at that? Cecile Kun! <laughs> wow, he's just showing up in like... <laughs> That's so funny, he's just showing up um... And all the other possible scouts. Oh my gosh, Cecile Kun. <laughs> That's hilarious. Let's see. Yeah, so even with that, um... I don't end up having to scout now. <laughs> For him. I don't have to feel bad. Of course, I'm picking Shokan. Well, actually, no. see, the, the problem is like instinct is Shokan, but then I'm like, Ramaruka, Otiaka, Tokiaka, I could. Ah, my life. Um, but I usually end up choosing Shokan though, so maybe I should scout for a different guy this time. Well, let me think, uh, I'm trying to think about how many cards I have for each of the guys, and then... Uh, my present box is full, so... <laughs> it, I, it's hard to remember exactly how many cards I have for each of the guys, but let's see... Hmm... Uh... I don't know... I'm trying... Well, maybe I should scout for Aikun, then. I always end up scouting for Shokun, so I should scout for someone else this time. Or Tokyo-kun? <laughs> now I see now, now, now I'm going back and forth. <laughs> oh my gosh, just go I could. Ah, uh, yes, I'm getting all the Valentine's cards. I could. <laughs> Yay! Wow! I am totally prepared for, uh, for Valentine's <laughs> this year. <laughs> Aww, okay. That was a, um, because I'm always questioning, was that the best possible choice I could have made? Should I have chosen a different guy? No, but I'm extremely satisfied with that result. So that's what matters, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I didn't end up scouting for the Halloween cards like I mentioned. So, I'll scout one more time. 
I don't know really what to expect now or if I should even be expecting anything. But I want more Cecile cards. That's a, like Cecile kind of earnestly just like, this is what I want. And this is what I'll do. And this is how I'll do it. I'm not sure if I have all of those rare cards either. And end up being on the last one again. Mm hmm It is. Ah, Christmas! Oh my gosh! So many new cards! I'm so excited! It's always on the last one though. That's like, that's really funny. That's... Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so good. I should take a screenshot then too, but um... But yeah! Silken. Would you look at that? It's always on the on the last card. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, Arigato gozaimashita, Sisiokun, for all the new cards. Ah, oh, and Icon too. Oh, for the Valentine's card and then Yeah. I'm just really happy because they're all new cards. Oh my gosh. Compared to always getting the same same cards. <laughs> my duplicate curse. <laughs> Didn't strike me this time. Oh my gosh, and then as soon as I say that the next time, it's gonna be a disaster. <sighs> but thinking about this, I feel like my luck uh, <laughs> ran out um, with Fire Emblem Heroes. All the free scouts I've been doing recently, um, the two times uh, Hector appeared, uh, the original Hector, um, he appeared on a banner. I scouted the, the free scout for him, because oh, I thought, well, either it was I didn't have him at first, and then the next time I was just like, well, it's green, and like the uh, the other choices, I was just like, eh? I think so. Th I think that's how I felt, and I'm sure looking back at the screenshots, I can see for sure, but... Uh, yeah, the first time I was like, okay, let's go for Hector! Because that's what I always end up doing when he appeared on the banner, his original card, and I was just like, okay, scout. He came home! His, his, his stats weren't that great, I think. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I'm gonna be playing Fire Emblem after this. This is... I'm gonna be immediately recording after this. But that's... Yeah... Uh, I'm sure I can talk about it more there. Okay. And then I should show it too. <laughs> okay, but... Anyway, I'm so thankful though. Yeah, so I feel like my luck ran out of Fire Emblem here is just all I'm saying. Hmm... I'm getting duplicates. Too. Even. My luck and getting duplicates. Both ended up running out. Both ended up uh, depleting my luck, <laughs> draining it dry to the source. <laughs> that's okay. Because uh, Utebri ended up making it right again. Look at all these Steel Kun cards. Oh my gosh. And then, um, let's see. I just need to make sure that there's nothing else to scout for. Yeah, because I need two more for this anyway. And then. Mm hmm I think that's it. There was something I did want to do, but what was it? Oh, that's right. For the Bangle uh, series this time. Since I did end up participating in this event, I remember this event. And trying so hard to get to steal here. I was so close. I'm sure I can bring up the screenshot. I will look through my Google photos and bring up the screenshot here for Cecilia's birthday.
Now, yeah, for Cecile Kun's birthday, I will do that. But I tried so hard for the Cecile Kun. And then I didn't end up getting him. So... My memorial bangle this time is going to him. <laughs> yeah. Because although, like, there are a bunch of other cards... Um, that's definitely what I want more. The most. Yeah, because I wanted to get this Tokyo Ken. Because this is Shining Solo series. It's really cool. Um, but... Cecile Kun definitely takes the cake over all that. He takes the cake, the cherry on top, he takes the plate too, <laughs> that, <laughs> that's holding the cake. And the display case too, <laughs> with the rest of the cakes. <laughs> I was trying to think of some, some kind of witty thing to say, but uh, that's all that I could think of. <laughs> uh, spur of the moment. Sometimes it works. Most of the time it doesn't. <laughs> this is why I'm never gonna be a comedian. Yeah, but it's so exciting to see all these ultra uh, ultra photo shoot passes. Oh my god, oh my duplicate curse! I gotta make sure I feel like I'm not gonna get a duplicate. Yeah, but Steel Guns definitely takes the cake. <laughs> ah, sorry. Say happy Halloween! Happy. Wait, is that the only thing it says for Halloween? I think? Well, since I need to edit this video anyway. <laughs> it's okay doing all this. There we go. <laughs> That's so sweet of you, Cecile Kun. Um, but yeah. I was thinking of uh, showing off the the first Ultra Cecile Kun I got, which is for from the event Autumn Memories. But I'm sure someone else has already done that on YouTube, and this video has already gone long enough anyway. And um, I should have done that yesterday if I wanted to, uh, with uh, his messages and everything. But. That would be nice if they ended up, uh, ending the scout. No! Yeah, if I had just done it yesterday, it would have been fine. Um, officially midnight. Well, no, that, the problem though that with that though is the fact that, um, I live with other people who are sleeping at the time, so I can't do that either. Mm -hmm. But yeah, anyway, that's it. See you again. Tanjubi Amedeto. <laughs> mm -hmm. And here's to another year together. Okay, and good luck to everyone else with scouting too. Hopefully you end up getting to see can, if that's what you end up scouting for, or just end up getting new cards in general. And yeah, gotta keep going for the Cecile commissions. I'm like halfway through, I think, but still need to keep going. Okay, well that's it, and happy Halloween, everyone! Clap, clap. <laughs>